and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Professor Taskmaster. So what this deck is, is we are combining um, Professor Von Yip, when you summon a one cost ally, grant it plus two plus two, and Jagged Taskmaster that has Plunder, grant one cost allies everywhere plus one plus zero. So we're going to be playing just a whole bunch of one cost allies with Professor Von Yip and Jagged Taskmaster and pumping them up and hoping that's good enough. <laughs> Basically, that's what we got. So our one cost allies, we have, of course, Teemo, probably the best one cost ally, but you know, we got Teemo and it's an elusive threat. And so like if we're pumping these up, it's good to have elusive threats. So Teemo, Daring Poro, also an elusive threat. And then we have the new elusive threat, Prowling Cutthroat. So we got all those. Uh, besides that, Jagged Butcher, just a really good one drop that can be even bigger. Uh, Pool Shark to get us that fleeting card sometimes. And a couple Jury Rigs in here as well. So we got all those one drops. Um, and then we can get some more one drops with Double Trouble. We got two Double Troubles in here that can summon two random one cost followers. Um, all right, so we got a lot of one mana cards. Um, so that means if we have a whole bunch of one mana cards, we're probably going to run out of gas though, because like we're we're not going to have um, as <clears throat> like we'll be able to empty our hand faster than our opponents that have cards that cost a lot more than one mana. So if we're going to be emptying our hand, we need a payoff, and so we're going to be playing Jinx. I uh, haven't played Jinx in a long time. Jinx is <clears throat> pretty powerful card though. Can draw two cards a turn whenever you level up. You just got to empty your hand to level up Jinx. Uh, draw two cards a turn, and then whenever you empty your hand, of course, you create some super mega death rockets. Um, to also get us some card advantage, because that's not quite enough. We need more card advantage. We got Augmented Experimenter. Uh, if we empty our hand, you know, we get to um, have use some removal, draw three. And then besides that, we just have a couple of suit-ups to help uh, kind of protect our one mana cards, or especially Teemo. Like, this is mostly for Teemo, turning Teemo into a 4-4 or just turning you know any of these elusive ones into four fours um and then some removal you know got a couple get excited some mystic shots and some thermogenic beams all right meme tier monday is going to continue here with professor taskmaster let's play five games over in ranked not expecting this uh deck to necessarily do amazing but it should be some it should be fun we'll have we'll have some fun games even if we end up winning them or not Okay, so we got Daring Poro, Professor Von Yip. I think we're going to mulligan the suit up. I mean, I'll probably need to keep Thermogenic Beam because those champions are just so good. I wouldn't mind like a, see, a Jagged Taskmaster. We have the attack token on turn three. We can like hit it with the elusive. And then play Taskmaster. I got the goods. Ugh. I guess I gotta play this thing. That's unfortunate. Save me, Alright, Taskmaster. So basically, I just I don't think it's really worth it just throwing these out here as one ones, because we probably want to probably want to make them bigger with the professor. And maybe, maybe like I'm not even supposed to play the other one, one. Like this? Oh, I see. Daring Poro. One girl wrecking crew. 
Man, Vi's so mean. Vi killed the professor. That's so mean. My opponent's being pretty mean. to, you know, play the experimenter next turn and level up Jinx. So we'll get Ezreal out of here, but they still have a Vi. Oh, no, never mind. I'm not getting Ezreal out of here. Immerse yourself in the unknown. We need new cards. Mm, those are not very good cards. Um. Yes, rewarded for waiting. Maybe we should have just blocked with this 1-1 one, one just to get this out of here, actually. Yeah, I should have blocked with the one one just to clear the clear the space. Yeah, I really should have. So, uh, how do you get that kind of volume in your hair? <laughs> Electrical currents and aging. These champions are so powerful. Ezreal, Vi, Heimerdinger. It's like, come on. I'm just trying to play a whole bunch of one drops. <laughs> These are. Round and round and round it goes. This is not a fair fight. was just gonna be over pretty soon. I couldn't like, I mean, I couldn't do anything. Couldn't attack with elusives because they had uh, the one three Ezreal. Timo. Our turn two and turn three isn't great with this deck, as we've been kind of figuring out. How about turn one, turn four? Yes. Who's on top of the bounty board today? That's a perfect suit up. Son 
The Teemo will still be vulnerable. This is where we need the Taskmaster. And it doesn't really make much sense to display these little <clears throat> one drops yet. The winter's claw strikes. Every mushroom precious. Yeah, but when do they explode? Turn five main, I go Professor Von Yib, Dar Daring Poro. The turn six, I go Experimenter. I guess we'll cut throat. So, looks like they like they passed with four mana, so they probably want to probably want to play Fury of the North. Like, are they going to block Fury of the North? Which, if they do, I'm okay with that because like they, they really shouldn't do this. They should really use Fury of the North proactively. Like, this is a that could be a seven power overwhelm. To really use that proactively. Success gets you noticed around here. Hmm. It's unfortunate. And kind of unfortunate that we're discarding a get excited. And a daring poro. Those are both good cards. I guess I could wait till next turn for Experimenter. I mean, no, because I'd have to discard the Experimenter to play the Get Excited this turn. Now we'll probably just ditch him. Hmm. The answer is here somewhere. I don't like that we're ditching those cards. Good. I want to discard these things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey there. Don't mind the knife. Very nice. I'm not greedy. My friends, though. Open wide. Sounds pretty sweet. Your bounty covers half a meal. Oh, they're so close. Nice. All right. One of the very best decks in the format, Misfortune Sejuani. We came up with a win. They did not play either of their champions, Misfortune or Sejuani. And so that helped for sure. That's a good win. That's a good win for our meme tier deck. 
What are those things that... What was that card that did that damage, that fearsome elusive card, was it? Like Prowling something? What's the name of that card? Prowling Cutthroat. All right, good job, Prowling Cutthroat. Oh man, remember that? Yeah, we had that clutch suit up draw. That was pretty clutch. Um, if I just keep this. Now nah, let's get received up. Ooh, Taskmaster. We don't have good we don't have good attacks for the tax taskmaster. Because like we're not attacking turn three. Trying to play Jaw Hunters or something? Sure, we turn on plunder. The Isles will bloom. These are fair and the winds pulling. We sail. I boss. You know, we can turn on plunder ourselves, I suppose, with Mystic shotting them. Yeah, it's a risk to play pool on on turn one, absolutely. But I do have a ton of one drops. When and when I have a, when I have a card like uh, Jinx in my hand, anyway, it's it's not like a. It's that big a deal, even even if we miss. Um. Hmm. This Maokai is a huge problem. Sorry, Taskmaster. It's either, you know, get rid of the Taskmaster or the Mystic Shot. That's 
that's not good. Because they didn't block with Maokai. I really wanted them to block with Maokai. How's my Maokai 1-4? Uh, no, I don't think... I don't think Lisa needs a buff, no. So what I get excited, discard Mystic Shot, and then Augmented Experimenter. And if I do that, what am I get excited in? Are you Probably has to be this Jaw Hunters. Going harvesting. So yeah, Jaw Hunters challenge Jinx. Awkward. I'm doing good, Devon. How you doing? I should just be targeting Maokai with this. Anyway. Dang. Maokai levels up now. Thankfully, I get to draw my cards first. That could have been bad. Well, I, I guess I, I have to kill him this turn. So we might as well play. Might as well play our hand out and you know let them play their hand out. I mean we we have to kill them this turn. So I'll just you know replace some of these things that will just get blocked. Unless I kill my own Jinx. I mean we'll have like next turn we could draw. It. Draw burn spells. It's basically, by by we have to kill him this turn. I mean, this is my last attack step. That's what I mean by that. This is my last attack step. Oh man, we don't thermogenic. We don't get to play super mega death rocket, do we? How are they just passing? Like, what is their plan?
Guess it's Grasp the Undying, most likely. Could be Vengeance. Okay, Vengeance. Unfortunately, this suit up just doesn't do anything right now. I need to get this thermogenic beam out of my hand so that next turn I have a better chance of creating a super mega death rocket with Jinx. And so I'm just going to empty my hand. I got my two cards left. Come on, I need a burn spell. I need a burn spell. No! Oh! Puff Cap! Teemo Puff Cap! So you're telling me there's a chance. They have no life gain and cannot remove Jinx. We win. It's a, it's a tall order. But they have no life gain and no way to remove Jinx. Come on, Jinx. No! We had a chance. If they didn't, uh, you know, if they didn't have that Vile Feast for my 3-1 on that one turn when we got to attack out with everything, or if they blocked with the Maokai, either of those would have been really nice. That was really close. All right, Mulligan that thing. Zed Lucian, I probably need these against Zed and Lucian, so we'll keep those. Zed Lucian is scary. Nope. Nothing like the stink of blood and sweat. You poor thing. Sure, whatever. Great. Oh, a good Twisted Fate deck, you can... I There's dozens, dozens of good Twisted Fate deck. You can play with um, basically everything. Basically everything goes well with Twisted Fate. Um, yeah, I mean, name a champion, it's good with Twisted Fate. The what one Twisted Fate deck that we played recently and did really well with was Twisted Vi. You check out that one. I am the blade in the darkness. Stick shot through the heart. Zed's too dead. <laughs> Get him, Jinx. Not yet, though. Get him later, Jinx. Open wide. Okay. <sighs> 
Okay, so that was a good turn for us. They just took four damage and discarded a card, basically. Making the dead deader. Uh, I don't like deader. Just you and me, fish bones. Let's make the dead not so dead. How'd you beat me here? A lady has her secrets. Um, uh, I don't like this either. Hmm. Ah, it's thermogenic beams. I'm on the verge of something. Thermogenic beams is uh, awkward. Yeah, so yes, I could have thermogenic beamed the uh, Lucian, um, and then Senna was a five-three double attack. So then it's like I, I have to chump block Senna, and I just didn't really have anything I wanted to chump block Senna with, but. Maybe I should have just done that and thrown away the Jagged Butcher. Would have saved me the life, and then, I, then I'd be using this to kill Senna. Hmm, I I'll give you to the counter. Up! Alright, so they, they block with Senna and have Senna die. Lucian levels up. And then I need to get excited to Lucian. Um, Not so fast. I think Jinx is a good champion. Yeah, I think I think Jinx is just fine. I mean, I don't think she needs. Can you stomach this? I mean, obviously she doesn't see like hardly any play. So because of that, you can say, well, she needs to be, um, We're gonna need you know, buffed. Coffee. But I mean, you can't just do that for every single. You know, it's not just all right, whatever. You know, every single card that doesn't see play, you just start buffing it, and you know, then it's, you just go crazy. I think Jinx has a is a well designed card. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. I should probably just discard the other team. Out. Now we'll get here. All right, well, now we're in trouble. Now we're in a lot of trouble. Stay still, I'm trying to shoot you. Maybe we're not in so much trouble. We do have to chump block the Lucian again. I'll just chump block with this Teemo. Because we got backup Teemo. Okay, opponent surrendered. Awesome. We beat Zed Lucian. 
Our deck's holding its own. We're two and two in master rank. We're beating a couple of good decks. Awesome. Hawk, okay, I, I have two Lee Sins and zero, fa zero Vi. Do you think Twisted Fate is as good in an Ionia deck too? Yeah. Yeah, I have a... Yeah, if you want Twisted Sin... I'm, I was telling you, you can play Twisted Fate anywhere you want. Um, this Twisted Sin deck's very good if you want a... And it has two Lee Sin in it. So yeah, if you say you have two Lee Sin, perfect. Uh, play that deck right there. No problem. Uh, there's no maximum to the vault anymore. Before it was level 13 was the maximum of, of the vault. And at that point, you would get three diamond chests. But now you can continue to go past level 13. I think it's 4,500 experience for each additional level. And each additional level unlocks a... Um, yeah, we keep drinks. Unlocks a uh, new capsule. So you just get, you know, if you go to level 14, you get three diamond chests and a capsule. And then, you know, your other stuff like your champion wild card and things like that. I don't want my cutthroat to change to trade with that thing. I'm just not gonna play the cutthroat right now. We'll kind of wait on it. Oh no! Now I want to play Teemo. I was just gonna play Double Trouble this turn, but never mind. We got Teemo, so I guess we'll we'll play both of these out. Nothing escapes my watch. Yeah, Demacia and Freljord are, are two of the very best regions. And those are... They're two great regions. Um, hmm. Double trouble. Ugh. All right. Yeti Yearling's kind of a cool one-drop for us. Go put more one-drops into play. Unscarred Reaver holding down the fort. I like it. You're a tad late, Professor. So we're gonna have this block there, Don't let my size fool this block you. here. Does it make sense to have this 5-5 five five not attack? I don't really see why that would make sense. Uh, uh, uh. I kinda wanna block with the Teemo. So that I can go play this Professor Von Yip and get this Teemo. Hold it, sweetheart. No. The reason why I don't want to do that is because I want to cast this Teemo and level up this one. 
and hit him hit him with a leveled up Teemo next turn. Because if I do that, then my Teemo's not leveled up. Um, but if I just cast this, then I'll have a leveled up Teemo. Like this? Oh, I see. Oh man. Uh, they just like waited for me to tap out of get excited mystic shot. Yuck. Yeah, I mean obviously yeah, I I guess I, pl I played into that. I wasn't I wasn't really expecting that, but yeah. Good play by them. <laughs> Alright, we got Teemo and Burn Spells. The trap is set. Mm, man. Wish I didn't play that professor, wish I would have just passed. Takes 25,000 XP to reach level 13. It's a lot of XP. Pain is nothing. Oh, right, this thing just has... Oh, man, my team just has vulnerable, no matter what. Ugh. Double Elixir of Iron? You just can't kill Sejuani, can you? Well, that Reckoning turn... That's why I was saving Thermogenic Beam was for Sejuani. That's what I was saving it for. But obviously the Reckoning turn. Yeah, do you think they'll draw seven seven puff caps? They they just drew zero zero. Maybe they'll draw seven. What did we catch? I want them to play like Trifarian Assessor. Draw seven puff caps. Dang, zero again. Born for conquest. All right. Well, some mistakes were made. Need to be more patient. Um, honestly, pretty cool little deck here, though. It was, it was definitely competitive. You know, like, we were, we were competitive in all the games. And, uh, you know, we got to do some powerful stuff. Um, you know, going two and three, nothing wrong with that. We, we played against five good decks. And, you know, we went two and three with them. So, yeah. I, this, this deck felt pretty good. You know, as far as, you know, it, it's definitely not one of the best decks in the format or anything, but um, Professor Von Yip was a card that I was never impressed with before, but I think it I think it did get better after this set, um, not only with the Taskmaster helping it out, but I think that the, the Prowling Cutthroat's an important card here because now you have three elusive one-drops, Teemo, Cutthroat, Daring Poro, and so just the more of those that you can have, the better Professor Von Yip is. Um, so yeah, this this deck was pretty good. <clears throat> I know 
They drew zero 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 with the puff caps. They just did didn't draw any puff caps. And those in their last three draws. All right, so that's our second uh, meme tier Monday deck of the day. Rancidar, welcome. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. First sub of the day. Y'all get some hype votes in the chat for that. Um, those y'all watching on YouTube later on, if there are, uh, you know, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave leave those comments. Give this deck a try. You know, if you want to do some some cool uh, Professor Von Yip, Timo, Jinx, uh, those are both fun cards to play. Give this deck a try. Let me know how it goes and how you're liking it. Um, I wonder if Augmented Experimenter, maybe like the third Experimenter should be a progress day, maybe. I wonder if we should, you know, maybe, uh, <clears throat> you know, kind of um, kind of diversify there. Because there's definitely times that I didn't want to discard my hand. There were some times that I didn't want to. But um, anyway, pretty sweet little deck here. Oh, Von Yip is the cat? I I have never done the full art of this card. I had no idea there was a cat over here. So Professor Von Yip is the cat and the human is the translator? Huh. Yeah, suit up. Yeah, I, suit up is hit or miss. If you have a Professor Von Yip in play, then suit up really doesn't do hardly anything because then your your one drops are already like three threes. But so suit up's good um, when you don't have it. There was one game that the suit up like one of like our first win, we got turn two suit up, which was huge because we had like turn one Teemo, and then turn two they tried to kill Teemo and we drew a suit up to protect Teemo. That's really what it's the main thing for is protecting Teemo when you don't have a Professor Von Yip or if you played, you know, if you go Teemo turn one to get the puff caps, that's like really where suit up shines. But yeah, there's other times where it's just kind of a dead card um, when you do have Professor Von Yip already in play. Um, so, you know, like it's, it's a two of, you know, it can, it has some high upside of saving Teemo, but uh, other times it doesn't do anything. Huh, I never knew that. All right, anyway, that's it here for Professor Taskmaster. Those of y'all watching, uh, I already did all that whole spiel. <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll uh, see you for the next video.